first time I conducted and play in the same time as well. So it was lots of first times for me. So I, I, I remember, <laughs> I remember, I think it was my agent who called me after and said, great, well done, Martin, but close your mouth. Because apparently I never conducted and I, I was so overwhelmed. So my mouth was open all the time. Uh, and then we did this concerto and uh, yeah, that was a memorable concert, a memorable day and a very special uh, year. Yeah, oh my God, it's so difficult to single out one thing because you meet a lot of people here because basically everyone comes to this festival. And so lots of, of, of uh, collaboration could start here. The first encounter with the clarinet was through Jack Primer, an old English clarinet player with the Academy St. Martin in the Fields, a recording that I got. So that was the moment when I fell in love with the music, actually. Not, well, also the clarinet, but, but it was both. So. That was a Geneva competition. So I was 20-something and I did one competition. I didn't like it, I have to admit. I mean, I didn't like to do a competition. It was 226 clarinet play playing the same repertoire and it was not a very comfortable situation. But I was very happy with the first prize and it helped me. Well, I tried many times, but they never recognized it. That was the biggest disappointment. <laughs> I was certainly telling different fantasies in a very early age, but I think around uh, six years old maybe, then you know the truth and you are very s sort of, uh, you have a plan with your lie. I got married when I was five with, a, with my neighbor, and she, her name was Susanna, and we, we planned the wedding very carefully and we invited people <laughs> and we were really in love. And then we got a child and that was my little brother. Now I'm turning a little bit towards conducting, of course, that's a dream. And I have now Swedish Chamber Orchestra, which I really love that I should start as a chief conductor next year. And I also have started a foundation which we will create now during the summer and, and that's together with Buffet Campon, which is the main factory and, and um, builder of clarinets. And we have lots of dreams that we are creating now together, how we should inspire the younger generation, how we should meet them and uh, create m much more opportunities for them. And also they are really, really generous with helping me economical and uh, with instruments. So we give a lot of instrument to people who cannot afford instrument. That is a big dream for me. I remember it was really, really crazy. And uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I liked it. <laughs> what, it is, what, what it could be. The first one I don't know at all. I, I recognize myself because I, I know this very red hair guy, <laughs> which was me. But I must be around 20. I don't remember that concert because I know them both, but I never, I, I, I wouldn't say we played a concert together, but apparently we did. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a really, really recent photo. We have this in Sweden, a very uh, high profile radio program every summer. And lots of celebrities uh, talk for one hour and they tell the whole story about their lives and they play their fav favorite music in between. Uh, that is more recently. That's from uh, Anders Hilborg's uh, clarinet concerto, Peacock Tales, which I have done. 300 times at least. I have enjoyed, I have good memories from this concerto. I'm very proud of that piece actually. And so is the composer, I think. <laughs> 